Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Good morning. Good Tuesday morning, everybody, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Um, I hope that uh, we're, we're just coming into our June events now, and our second event of the month will be tomorrow at the Warsaw Intercontinental our Intercontinental Warsaw. We've got our CEO breakfast forum. So a lot of exciting things. We still, we still have a couple seats left. So feel free to come join us. It starts at 8.30, five-star buffet breakfast. A lot of interesting people to, to talk to there and network with and you know some interesting conversations on investment, industrial, office, retail. We'll try to touch on quite a few of the panels. Maybe a little bit on ESG as well, see what's uh, happening there yeah yeah I'm sure that will come yeah. up and then on the 24th of course we have our corporate our first annual corporate CRE tug of war event at La Playa so there's still opportunities to sign up and get teams for that so please come join send me an email we'll happy to sign you up on that and of course our latest publication the last mile I just saw the first version in digital format looks great so very exciting and, uh, we'll mo and moving on from that, we'll just jump right into this the EuropaProperty.com news. Winston, welcome to the show. Good, Good to see you. And uh, so we'll take a little break and pop right back for the news. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brave new world of Europa Properties Last Mile digital and interactive magazine. It's the only one of its kind to cover the Central and Eastern European region with 100% dedication and focus on industrial property and logistics. Don't miss our June edition. So welcome back. And here we are, Winston Norman, our editor of Europa Property Magazine, to read off the, some of the exciting news that you'll find on the europaproperty.com website. Yeah, thanks, Craig. Uh, we'll start in Hungary today in Hello Parks. Uh, it's part of Futurial's industrial arm. Uh, they're going to develop a 400,000 square meter mega park west of Budapest. Uh, and uh, this will be the largest project in the history of the company. And the total pipeline of Futural Group's Industrial Logistics Group has reached 900,000 square meters of GLA around Budapest. Wow, a lot of, a lot of industrial coming to Budapest, a lot yeah. of warehouse space. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. And uh, this is a, a relatively new venture and uh, preparations for the first phase has already begun. And the first building will offer 55,000 square meters of modern space. And that's expected to be handed over in the quarter three, 2022. And the value of this investment uh, exceeds 50 million euros. Wow, so big project. Yeah. And staying in the uh, industrial sector, we move to Poland and Panatoni uh, stays strong in Bielska Biała. Uh, they're increasing their supply of warehouses there. Uh, they've got uh, a new a new park called Panatoni Park Bielska Biała 4, mm -hmm. and it'll be three buildings combining 96,000 square meters of space, and it's intended to be completed this year. And this project is being developed with uh, Panantoni's Go Earthwise policy for sustainable de development, which means the project will be certified under BRIAM mm -hmm. uh, with a rating of very good. Uh, the company has already delivered three projects with a combined area of 134,000 square meters uh, in this area, mm -hmm. uh, fully leased out. And it's the first European brilliant factory for GE energy management. And uh, Marek Dobrisky, Managing Director of Panatoni. Mm -hmm. He says that the, uh, this area is very, very popular with the automotive industry, and it's, it plays a very important role in the strength of the economy of Bielska Biała. Warsaw and uh, Capital Park Group have announced that they've got a new tenant for uh, the Norblin factory, mm. which is being mm -hmm. revitalized in the center of the city. Uh, they've, they've acquired a seven screen boutique cinema called Kinogram. Kinogram, all right. Kinogram, well, it's good yeah. to see some cinemas are coming back and you yeah. know, some investment into that. Sector. This one sounds mm -hmm. very interesting, actually. It's going to be a seven screen uh, concept and um, it's going to be studio cinemas and it's going to offer the best, the best in, in boutique cinemas and multiplexes. Mm. And um, it's going to have the support of um, some very influential people from the Polish cinema industry, including uh, the Directors Guild of Poland, mm -hmm. which is represented by Agnieszka Holland. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, it's a very good. famous director there. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, the first movies 
it's going to it's going to be showing regular blockbuster movies and mm -hmm. more kind of um, kind of original small studio films as mm -hmm. well. Well, I think the, the the industry needs some places to show local films. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you know, uh, I don't know if you watch Netflix at all, but the Polish film industry seems to be growing quite strongly lately, and they've they've got a lot of a lot of content. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the first the first movies are uh, uh, going to be showing after the holidays in September. Oh, quick. Yeah, so they're building it pretty, pretty well, fast. Well, the, the yeah. whole, I mean, Norblin is 65,000 square meters, mm -hmm. and uh, 41,000 square meters of that is going to be office space, mm -hmm. but the rest is 24,000 square meters filled up with entertainment and retail. And, uh, and this, this cinema is going to be open in, in September, and the whole thing is going to be opening around then as well. All right, great. Well, I guess they'll invite us to the opening. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. And uh, staying in Poland, and some leasing news, and Flying Wild Hog, it's a game, a video game developer, founded in 2009. They've leased 1,000 square meters in the Porto office building in Krakow. Uh, JLL represented the company. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is a very, uh, very big deal and shows the, how popular Krakow is in the office market. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, again, from the IT sector, it's a growing, a growing industry and they're, they're taking some big, some big requirements from the market. Yeah, they have a cool name too. Yeah, Flying Wild Hog, I like yeah, that. Yeah, Flying Wild Hog, you wouldn't miss that one. Yeah, so it sounds like a gaming. <laughs> like a a gaming. Or a restaurant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, or a restaurant, yeah. Yeah, and uh, staying in the leasing business, but moving to the industrial sector in Slovakia, and Cromwell Property Group, on behalf of Cromwell European REIT, has signed a 5,000 square meter five-year lease renewal with Grupo Antolin in, at the uh, Zelenia Industrial Park in Slovakia. This is the first uh, lease that Cromwell signed since it acquired the portfolio of 11 logistics assets in uh, Slovakia and the Czech Republic earlier this year. And uh, Grupa Antolin is, uh, is a Spanish company mm -hmm. and uh, they're one of the largest players in car interiors in the market internationally. And their, their main uh, clients are from Hyindo, Hyundai and the Kaya Group. Oh, okay. So a lot of... I think it's a bright future for them then, because yeah, they're I mean, making a lot of cars. Uh, and there's a lot of a lot of development going on in Slovakia in the industrial mm -hmm. industrial segment at the moment, and and a big part of that is is the automotive industry. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the automotive guys have done actually pretty well during this. Yeah, it's a very crisis. vibrant business mm -hmm. there. Well, excellent. Good news. Anything else today, or that's, we uh, that's all covered for today, it all? Craig. All right. So we'll see everyone tomorrow morning on Coffee with Craig live at the Intercontinental Warsaw. Um, we're starting at 8.30, great breakfast. If you haven't got your tickets yet, you can book them on coffeewithcraig.com. Or uh, we'll see you on, we hope to see everyone there. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day, and we will see you all tomorrow. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show, and don't forget to share it with your friends.